Hello. Hello. How uh, does the background sound? Do I look okay? <laughs> I, um... My internet was being a little weird for a second. I don't know why I did that. That was very strange. <laughs> uh, sorry everyone. Um, but hello, hi, we're here. Pog. You can hear them? Okay. Am I in 1080p today? Because I adjusted my settings after stream last time. And, uh... I changed my resolution. And I increased my... 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 What the fuck is it called? <laughs> mm, the... Uh, what's the word for it? I increased my thingy to like 6k because I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to stream at. It's tiny bit rate, that's the one. Yes, I increased my B, my bit rate back up to like 6k because I think I'm supposed to be streaming around 6k. Um, okay, I have to like. Force OBS to stream at 1080p. It was like, no, we're gonna do 720. And I was like, no. Um, and I keep getting warnings on YouTube saying like, 1080p is too much. You're not streaming at the optimal. And I'm like, how? 1080p is what everybody wants and what everybody does. It's like I'm getting like warnings. <laughs> well, sorry, my monitors are adjusting to the heat in the room. They're like cracking. Oh, now it says my connection's excellent. Okay. <sighs> okay, okay. I think I fixed my stream now. Okay, everyone. I think we are finally good. Good resolution and good bit rate. I, I, I wanna call it bits for some reason. <laughs> so how is everyone doing? Hello, 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 hello. You guys can finally view me the way you're supposed to. Yeah, tiny p, let's go. I'm such an idiot. I. <laughs> I didn't know I was 1080p for like two months and then when I found out I was it took me like a month to fix it and change it even though it was a very very simple fix embarrassing <laughs> a professional streamer of course yes 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 I just kept forgetting to check and when I took a moment to actually look through my settings I saw a few things and I was like why? Why are these like this? <laughs> I swear I know what I'm doing, I just didn't look. Maybe a little turn through. No! Now it says my, my connection is excellent. Yes. Excellent. It should be good now. Hello, Chad. How are you guys? Hello, everyone. Hey yo, hey yo. <laughs> so I, I got a new prop today. I know it might be a little strange doing one prop for a long time. I won't do it the whole stream, but I got a coconut. I got a coconut in the mail from one of my lovely, lovely subscribers slash followers. So I'm gonna be using that. Can you believe? Can you believe I have never, never used a coconut during ASMR before? Can you believe that? <laughs> coconut is like the staple ASMR prop. <laughs> and I've never used it. 
a jar with water and a coconut. <laughs> today on my new microphone because I realize over here on YouTube I haven't been using my new mic very much so we're gonna use it today um it's a staple well not on YouTube but like on Twitch it, it's very popular for like live ASMR artist, but people are using a lot of other stuff nowadays, but it used to be a very, very popular prop. Um, if you watched ASMR live on Twitch, like, three years ago, coconuts were very popular. <laughs> uh, so yeah. The simple things, yeah, yeah, simple things. Also, sorry today was kind of last minute. Wow. Should I relink this stream link on my Twitter post? People will probably figure it out, right? <laughs> I don't think I have to do that. People will probably figure it out. But, um, apologies for the <laughs> last minute notification. I wasn't sure what time I was going to stream today, and then I was like, okay, I gotta stream around 3. And then it was like 1, and I was like, holy shit, I gotta like let people know. <laughs> time was escaping me. But yeah. I'm gonna get started doing love tapping. I just want to talk to you guys a little bit. Cause I miss you! Even though I, I streamed over here not too long ago. I miss my chat. Yeah, last one had a little hiccup. A little hiccup. <laughs> but you should be able to see the stream just fine. And you should be able to see it in 1080p now too. are having a really nice summer so far. Has anybody done anything really interesting and fun this summer yet? Hmm? I haven't. <laughs> well, besides working, I guess. Books for fun. Wow. Coconut. 
says, would you like some bubble? <laughs> I feel like I'm getting trained anytime Oz like donates or anything, I'm just like, okay. <laughs> You finally understood why there's- Oh, cause of a mirage from the heat, right? are like rocks <laughs> streets are like sand ground down and like flattened and made into paste and then spread out to make pavement or at least that's what little eco brain thought so it, it made sense to me that on a, like a street it would be miragey like on the sand yeah, because it gets really hot. Oh, I almost swore again. Because <laughs> it gets really hot. Really, really, really hot. And, like, it's far in the distance as well. I've never seen a mirage up close. Only far away. So it's got to be really freaking hot. And far away. And I think a, a decent size. Like, decent width. <laughs> How long do you think your cell phone is gonna last? Uh, I don't know, that's up to chat. <laughs> that's not up to me, it's up to chat. Not this holy way? Okay, well, I'm glad little eco brain was able to decipher that without education on the matter just based off of guessing <laughs> I guess oh yeah sometimes I can see above the toasters too like the air gets wavy I haven't seen reflections over toasters but I have seen like distortion in the air like it gets a little <laughs> a little wavy Magic. We don't have to explain it. <laughs> it's magic. Special effects via Mother Nature. I really like tapping this thing. I didn't think I would, but I really like it. I have a coconut. Halloween comes early every year. <laughs> Magic in the streets and in the sand. Nature's CPU lag. <laughs> oh no. Sorry, I I'll do the bubbles, Oz. I will do them. I just. trying to stream over here more often and hanging out with you guys more frequently. I'm gonna take, um, <sighs> okay, please don't be sad. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of a step back from 
making and editing videos just because I <laughs> I love streaming, okay? I love streaming. I love streaming. And I like recording and editing videos too, but I like streaming more. <laughs> and um streaming's just easier and more enjoyable for me in the end. So stream over here more often and then I'll just upload videos when I feel like it. <laughs> but that being said, I think I'm gonna try to do my best to have a theme for the stream. Like once a week I'll try my best like today, how it's a coconut summer, ASMR coconut. <laughs> I probably should have put coconut somewhere in the title. But, uh, yeah, I like streaming. It's really fun. I like to be able to interact with you guys, so. It, it, I, yes, I will say it is more efficient and it allows me to give you guys more time with you. So I think that is a win in the end. The ASMR may not be perfect because it's live, so <laughs> could be a little scuffed and I can't edit out all the little sounds, but I I still wanna try to do pre-recorded content, but just when I feel like it. Not not like all the time. I'm just, I'm a streamer, Chad. I'm a streamer. I'm a liver. I love streaming live and interacting with you guys live. <laughs> it's so much more fun. <laughs> Editing literally has me like, <sighs> pretend there's a gun by my head. Sometimes editing does have me feeling like that, cause it's, oh, I'm not gonna lie, when you edit ASMR, it's so boring, I just, oh my god, I just wanna fall asleep, oh my god, it's so boring, and it takes, <laughs> it takes so long, so yeah, I, uh, Just relax. Whatever. We're hanging out. Not all streams have to be about bed. Bed. I can't say it without people thinking I'm swearing at them. Hi, Lily. Um, I cannot do two times speed. I have to go normal speed, and I oftentimes have to keep, like, going back and, like, re-listening over and over. I do oh my god. Like, a couple times a month is fine, but, like, every week, I know it shouldn't be difficult, but, like, I just can't. <laughs> uh, it, it's ASMR. It's, it's only ASMR. If, if I became like a vlogger, heck yeah, I could edit that, it'd be totally fine. But, um, editing ASMR is a whole different problem because you need extreme silence around you, or you could miss something in the recording and then bam, it's left in there and it stays live. Well, it stays in the video. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> so it's very annoying to uh, edit ASMR because you need complete silence. 
and there's so many times where I hear something in the background of my recording and I have to replay it a few times to make sure it wasn't real life. That's annoying too. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, I'm just complaining about how annoying it is to edit ASMR, <laughs> but live ASMR is very comfy and nice, I really enjoy it. So we're gonna do more streams over here, more streams, and recorded videos whenever I feel like it. super comfy to listen to ASMR and just kind of do like whatever you want. I do that too. All the time. Instead of playing music all the time like I used to, now I always have ASMR. <laughs> always have ASMR on. time to hang out with you guys instead of spending time editing so I think it is a much better use of my time and I enjoy it more so there you go that's why I'm streaming two times over here this week and um karaoke mm, I should I need to do karaoke more and improve and get used to it. I do, I do. Uh, <laughs> I'm just so nervous, chat. I'm not a good singer. But everyone keeps telling me karaoke's about having fun. Karaoke scares you. <laughs> My karaoke will scare you. But something that helps me feel better is like, I'm not as a... Uh, mm, <laughs> uh, I'm a, a little more talented than some other people I've heard, so that makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> but I'm not good. I think I'm just like average. Like, like, if you think of like the average person singing, it's not like good, but it's not bad. I feel like that's how I am. <laughs> I don't know, you guys will have to decide. And Viper, thank you so much for the Silpa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Advice on how to get a girlfriend. <laughs> mm, I don't know, I've never dated a girl. I'm probably a bad person to ask. If you need advice on how to date a guy, I can give you <laughs> advice. <laughs> but I've never dated a girl, I don't know. Also, you know, everybody's different. Depends on who you're going for. advice though <laughs> advice on avoiding dating <sighs> become a narcissist there you go and if you ever feel lonely watch a netflix show watch anime 
anime and Netflix will help you get through, like, so many, like, bouts of loneliness, it's not even funny. Same with reading. You could read a book or something, or playing a game. Anything that can hold your focus for a long period of time is really good. And something that you enjoy, so it will help you feel better, too. <laughs> yeah, actually, you're curious. <laughs> oh, yeah, so me, we had the sleep well. The spike ball from Thrones. gifts on throne are hit or miss like some of them I know will sound good and some other ones are just like an experiment that I want to try I try all of them but the ones that <coughs> don't really sound good <laughs> I don't really use them because <laughs> they're hard to use getting really hot in this room. I'm gonna go turn on my fan one second, chat. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't tell if <laughs> talking about dating advice is making me nervous or if it's just hot in here. I I don't know. I'm not sure. I just feel very warm. Warm. Okay. Talk to you a little hard. Sorry. on before I started streaming um, to cool down the room for a few hours but <laughs> I feel really warm I don't know why I think I'm nervous I don't know why you're making me nervous Jack. <laughs> uh, why am I being weird right now I don't know I do have something pretty nice for you guys. Once I, um, upload a new video, I have a new background for it. A new background that's animated. Wow. So you can look forward to that. This is me. I'm an anime girl forever. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. <laughs> mm, I don't know, chat. I feel like dating advice can be gender neutral. Like, it just depends on the person. It really does. We're all different. If you were to be like, get the door for them, pull out their chair, be super polite. For 
for me personally, I wouldn't like that. I would feel weird. And I appreciate them being polite, but I would feel weird. I, I would feel like overwhelmed. <laughs> Um, and it feels like a very fake gesture to me, because it's like, that's not something that's gonna last, you're gonna stop doing that at some point soon, it feels very fake and I don't like it, so, <laughs> so you know, stupid stuff like that. everything in like two seconds on its own and I'm just like why why did I think about that I don't want <laughs> I want to be free I don't want to overanalyze everything why <laughs> brain please stop yeah anytime my internet goes down I die for a little bit but then I am reborn agree. Opening doors for other people I think is nice, and I naturally would do that, but pulling out a chair for them? <sighs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way. The only way I would pull out a chair for someone is if it's like a small child that needs help getting on the chair, or like an elderly person, or somebody who's injured. That's <laughs> person does something nice and they keep doing it, I, I think that's nice because it shows they're genuine and that's what they naturally would do, so I think that's nice. But like, putting on like a facade and being like overly nice about everything, <laughs> I'm just like, no, it's too much for me. Just be yourself. I need to know what I'm getting into, okay? Don't try to lie to me. Don't try to lie. And that's how I feel. Oh, you're cute. <laughs> to date the ego? You can't date me. I am not real. I am an anime girl. You can buy body pillows off me, but that's as far as it's gonna go. <laughs> well, actually, you can't even buy the body pillows yet. That's something that we're waiting on. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Soon, Tia. Depending on how well the subathon goes, I'm thinking most likely after that. Also, it just takes a lot of time to set everything up. <laughs> I do have body pillow and mouse pad art done. I got it done a while ago though because I wanted to have merch a long time ago. <sighs> but I was naive. I was naive. I didn't know how expensive merch was and how long it took and all of like the stuff you had to do to get it started and um, I could have gone through like a third party but it's such a rip off I honestly feel bad for people who do merch through a third party I mean you know they can do what they want, obviously, it's it's their brand, but no. <laughs> no way. People work for me, or I do it myself. That's how it works. I don't work for anyone else. <laughs> That's how it works. Except for the fact that I'm contracted on Twitch, but we don't talk about that part. Anyway. 
too. We don't talk about that part. <laughs> oh, sorry, I keep tapping you a little too hard. But yeah, if I have advice for anybody about merch, do it your own, figure it out. It's worth it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it your own. I haven't even fully started my own, but I will. a lot of merch planned, uh, and I have, like, half the artwork done. I'm still waiting on two more, no, I'm waiting on, like, three or four designs, and, uh, they should be done soon, and then once they are, yeah, we can go ahead with that. wait for the art to get finished before I can <laughs> do the merch. Um, I, I also need to make a website, which I'm probably gonna get done pretty soon. Um, probably sometime in September, after the subathon's over. <coughs> get the website done and then, um, open pre-orders, and then get all the other stuff figured out and hopefully get you all of the merch you guys want in a couple months after pre-orders open. I don't want to make you guys wait too long. I think a couple months would probably be okay. Like, I'll probably say four months from now to be safe, but you all will probably get it in like two months. I don't know yet though, but I, I, I think that would be manageable. Stop ASMR? Is that what you want? <laughs> I will be doing ASMR for a really long time. Every day, but... Hello? I will need a break and I'll have just chatting portions with you guys and all that. Um, will the docky also be shipped to the EU? Yes. I want my merch to be available worldwide. I'm gonna try to have it shipped to as many places in the world as possible. I don't have the specifics on that yet, but I should be able to ship it anywhere in the world. scared me and hurt my ears. Oh. Wait, okay, 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 okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let's try a smaller one. I'm sorry, Jen, I'm not used to this trigger yet. <laughs> Sometimes it gets really loud and other times it's not. No, that was me, I'm sorry. Let's try to scratch something. I'll use a smaller prop against it. <laughs> I I do apologize, so that actually hurt my ear and it scared me, so <laughs> I can imagine it probably scared some of you guys too. But yeah, something I was going to tell you guys is, uh, the docky and the mouse pad designs, which I've already shown my sensei patrons what they are, but, um, 
I got them done like over a year ago, I think. So I want to commission a new artist to do a new docky, new mouse pad design. So I'm already like in that mindset and trying to find someone for that. So, um, yeah, but, uh, my sensei patrons told me they liked the first artwork that I got. Like, the original artwork for the docky and the mouse pad. They said that they liked it and that I should use it, so I was like, okay. <laughs> well, if people like it, then I'll use it. Um, and like, it's nice. I like it too, but it's not what I would pick now. Like, my taste and style are like different. I would definitely go with a different art style for sure. It's a booba mouse pad. Sorry, I should probably clarify. Doggy pillow and booba mouse pad, yeah. Um, but yes, uh, I am trying to get a new doggy and a new booba mouse pad done <laughs> for, uh, like a secondary launch on the merch shop. Um, the f the, the first Docky and Booba Mouse Pads I'm gonna launch are probably gonna be limited edition. Just because, like I said, I'm not super into that style anymore, so they're probably gonna be limited. Um, and then the new artist I commissioned to make a new design for the Docky and Booba Mouse Pad will probably remain permanent in the shop. So yeah, there you go, there's a sneak peek. just the pillow wrap. It's typically, you typically have to buy your own pillow or you take it off the pillow you already have and put like the new one on. You didn't expect a booba mouse pad from me. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah, you can get different style pillows. Mm -hmm. Um, I have no idea where you can buy a pillow from. <laughs> I don't know, I don't own a doggy pillow. Uh, I'm not sure on the specifics of the length yet. Do you guys think I should sell different sizes? I feel like I should just sell one size, but do you think I should sell more than one? I was just gonna figure out like a good universal length and just sell one size. be much of a price difference between them. Maybe like a... Why am I doing that? A slight difference. Hold over here. Turn a little bit. Okay, that's better. Wait, no, it's not. There. Now I look like I'm looking into your soul. <laughs> no, I don't want to create an empire. Wait. 
Wait, how do we start talking about this? Yeah, I think pills are a good idea too. And everybody wants a mouth pad. There's a lot of other things I'd like to sell, but I don't know how I'm gonna get them manufactured, so... We'll see, we'll see. Starting with a couple things at a time. It'll just be the cover. It's not gonna be the pillow as well. You guys have to find your own pillows. That way you can choose what kind of pillow you want. Most of the time it is just the pillow, like the cover, not including the pillow. Well, from my experience of seeing them sold online. Glass frame like a jersey. Yeah, I've been trying to rest a lot. I've been I like haven't been talking. <laughs> I haven't been speaking like at all in the past couple days, trying to rest throughout chat. I'm trying to wear the cover. <laughs> um, no, I don't have a 3D model yet. I am speaking to an artist about getting a 3D model done in the very near future. So, yeah. Um, I just. Every ASMR is different. I won't listen to my ASMR. I... I don't know. <laughs> I like listening to other ASMR. I think because like I know it's me, I don't want to listen to it. If it wasn't me, then I probably would listen to it. Magic.
What's the nice thing about magic? You don't gotta explain anything. Oh yeah, also, someone said like, oh, you're streaming early today. One of the reasons why I'm trying to do that is, uh, because I have a lot of people in like, EU and like, people in Asia and Australia, and I want to try to have like, a good stream time for them to hang out and join, so yeah. It's just natural. <laughs> it kind of makes it hard to hunt things at night though because my glowing eyes give me away. Annoying. Can't blend in with the darkness. <laughs> but yeah, I know I was bored. Was I born like this? I think I was born like this. Docky, it'll probably be the first Docky that I've ever owned. And I'll try to get a really nice pillow for it so I can recommend pillows to you guys. <laughs> you just lie on and flash them. I could, I am very pale. Maybe it is so far That's very hard. I like a billion different ASMR sounds. <laughs> it's very hard to just pick one. I like tapping, scratching, crinkly. I love aquatic sounds. I like wind sounds. I like fire. I like soft. Everything. Everything is my favorite. You guys are so chatty today, by the way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's kind of hard to read all the comments. Use the stuff from inside the light sticks. I feel like that would be terrible. That would be so dangerous. Ants? Ants are very interesting creatures. They're very fascinating. There's so many different species of ants, and they're very different. A lot of them can do really cool things. Robots. I'm just an anime girl. I'm art. I am 
I was always scared I would like snap the glow sticks too hard and they would snap open, but that never happened. Anime girl scan from the metaverse. No. The metaverse doesn't exist where I live. You know, we're crossing dimensions right now, chat. Did you know that? Because I'm in my world, which is not the same as yours, but we're still interacting. Isn't that crazy? The fourth wall, and the fifth wall, and the sixth wall have all been broken. Cool. What <laughs> a digital anime girl, Z. I don't need to eat. But anime food is really freaking good. Have you ever seen anime food before? Balls don't exist here, noobster. <laughs> Do I drink? Yes. The blood of my enemies. Just kidding, that's gross. I don't Is there better internet? Yeah, except for when my internet had a little hiccup a day. <laughs> You've eaten blood. Did that sound like too hard and then made a noise. I'm blasting some more. <laughs> Who's there? Uh, uh, I don't know any good knockback jokes. Oh, oh wait, I have one. Boo. Boo. You don't have to cry about it, Baka. <laughs> That's the only knock-knock joke I know. just gave me a notification to insert an ad. Should I do it? Should I, should I, should I listen? <laughs> should I click it? Should I do it? Oh my gosh, it keeps being a little too rough. Do it. No. <laughs> Insertion time? What? It's 
my outfit, my hair color, my eye color, little flower in the hair, little side ponytail. It's me, it's me. It's Jimmy Koo that's on the couch. Oh my gosh, Chad. Do it. Insertion time. Go nuts, sure, do it. Get money, do it. Get paid. <laughs> Get the bread for money. <laughs> Execute order ads. Oh my <sighs> when your chat pays you to run an ad. I cannot. What in the world? Oz. <laughs> what in the world? You're such a memer. Thank you for the soup. I already know which one. that when you first typed in the chat. Or, wait, did you type or was it a super before? Thank you for the super. Chat, if you do that every time, I won't even need to play it. <laughs> Thank you, Asta, for the super. Wow, the homies right now saving all the non- Premiumers. Oh, okay, we're not running an ad. You guys are <laughs> No, Chad, you don't need to do that. But thank you, Esther, for the, for the soup. Thank you. And thank you, Lucario, for another soup. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Get that moolah. I want to buy a drone. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. Yeah, YouTube chat is big a chat. What the heck? <laughs> you actually want me to play the ad? Are you guys mean? Did you guys know that 7TV works on YouTube? <laughs> we paid for an ad, give us an ad. Should I run them for the subathon? Actually, when I asked my Twitch chat if I should run ads during ASMR, um, I was surprised. I had never seen so many people vote in my chat ever before. And the majority, by like double, said no. <laughs> and I was like, wow. How, how, well. <sighs> now you guys come out of hiding. If you guys get an ad, you have to tell me what it was. I'm very interested to see what kind of ads will be playing on my channel. If it's a Genshin Impact ad, I'm gonna throw my coconut across the room. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my coconuts if it's a Genshin Impact ad. Okay, people who are uh, not members, I think, 
and people who don't have YouTube. <laughs> Premium. Watch out. We're, we're running a little experimental ad. So, here we go. Here we go. Three, two, oh, okay. It started already. I'm sorry. I don't know how you. <laughs> I don't know how YouTube works. I clicked. I thought I would get options and it just played it. I think. I don't know how long it is. I can't. Uh, oh, well, we just lost a whole bunch of people. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel bad now. Is it skippable? Oh god, so many people just left. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'll never do that again. You got a TikTok ad? No, I'm sorry. I thought it would give me time to choose. I'm sorry, Jen. <laughs> That was the first time I'd ever run it out on a live stream. Way there. It was for science. You didn't get one? I see. <gasps> Don't say ad block in the chat, no. Oh, those, that's kind of weird. What are you doing in Yeehaw Land, huh? Vegan burgers. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> There's like 50 people left the stream. <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't run ads. I just, I, it was just an experiment, okay? Don't be mad. Will that ad be in the video? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know if it will be. That's a good question. You bring up a good point. I really don't know. I hope not. Well, actually, my videos always have um, like, the potential for ads to play, but they're, they're skippable. I wouldn't leave. Honestly, if a, the streamer I really like was an ASM artist, I would literally be like, fuck yeah, you should play ads. You should. Get that money. And then I would either subscribe or get premium. That's what I would do. But <laughs> not everybody feels that way. Really, banana? That's a thing? That 
actually wasn't too bad. Like 60 people left because of that. I guess that's not too terrible, right? <laughs> I don't know. if you guys are of the ads. Exactly, 16 people left. even play an ad that long on Twitch. The longest ad I could play is three minutes long. Four minutes, you're crazy. Thank you so much <laughs> to everybody who watched the ad. Can you mic blow please and make a nice, firm, strong blow? <laughs> That's random. Okay. Everybody who watched the ad, what trigger rage do you want? do that. I'll probably get smacked <laughs> by you two. Oh, maybe those people were just... Everyone's starting to come back now. Maybe they're just watching the end. doesn't tell me how long the ad is, so I have no idea. <laughs> There's just a button you can click, and then poof, the ad starts. I, I don't know how long it goes. I don't know. All the ads that I have on my YouTube videos are all skippable. I think I 
kind of cats or cat like two streams ago? Yeah, I think it was like two streams ago I did cat cat theme ASMR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like this song. Oh yeah, I forgot I can do sniffing. I agree, I think Rar is underestimated, underrated. of rise. Visual triggers. I love visual ASMR. I am going to do so many triggers for you guys once I get a model. Right. Definitely check out the subathon because uh two of the rewards might or might not have to do with 3D and live 2D outfits. Do some other stuff with these microphones. I'm not sure what. Do you guys want the three D again? Did you like it last time? With the helicopters and the ear rubbing and all that? I was kinda fun, I actually liked it.
sure. Right. Hmm. Okay, let's hold the poll. Are mods able to make polls on YouTube? Sorry, my roommate messaged me and I had to uh, read it because <laughs> I didn't know if it was something important or not. Yes, you? No. <laughs> Oz, you're not a mod. Why are you saying yes? Oh my god. Did that sound like the movie thing? Oh, I thought that. I mean, I mean, I fudged up. It doesn't really translate very well. Mods become mods through. Being really good potters people in chat that are here like every stream and are nice and trustworthy and not creepy or strange or rule breakers. Um, and I genuinely like coming to the streams and watching them and hanging out and being a part of the community. Yes, that's basically. too many mods, you know? But I, d I do need a couple more, I think. So it's easier on the current ones. But I feel like this might be a really long time, but I feel like I need to have them in my community for like at least three months before I feel like yeah, I'm comfortable with that. Maybe time just passes me by so fast, I don't realize how long it's been. And I'm like, yeah, I think they would make a good mod, and they've been there for like six months, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's a long time. But, uh, if anyone is, uh, seriously interested in becoming a mod, um, I think we will be opening positions soon. At least, uh, we were supposed to like a month ago or something, <laughs> and we never did. But, um, we're probably gonna be opening, uh, uh what's it called? Application. I'm whipping out the, the beach towel. Beach towel. Oh wait, no, no, no. Uh, how often do you throw food in the basement for your mods? <laughs> well, 
You mean throw it into their graves? Because I don't have a basement, but I have dirt outside. Or maybe something less morbid. Throw it into their terrarium tank. Cause I don't have a basement, but I have a pet. Uh, I have kennels and I have a hamster cage. <laughs> I just keep my moth in a hamster cage or in a kennel. <laughs> Why is that so funny? No, I don't have an attic. them in an imaginary basement though. Well, it's more like a dungeon, but I don't think they should be put in the dungeon. They don't belong there. They're too good for the dungeon. <laughs> you take the grave over the kennel. Yeah, sorry. Min is too dominant to be put in a kennel, I think. He wants to be murdered, not kenneled. <laughs> He's like, if I'm gonna be brought to my knees, it's gonna be by the most extreme force that you can muster. <laughs> An attitude. a voluntary, voluntary position. Most mods are volunteers. Yeah, most are. But I think if you're like a giga streamer, Maybe you can be paid? I don't know. I can't afford to pay my mods, but I think... Maybe some streamers on like Twitch that are like... 10k plus viewers every single stream? I think they maybe pay their mods, but I'm not sure. I don't know.
I'm just kidding. Literally all the comments on that video would be But this is four hours, Iku, but this is four But this is four hours Iku, you should change the title But it's four hours <laughs> That's what every freaking comment would be today. I think it's because I usually don't stream this early on YouTube and I'm usually really tired after doing like a four hour stream on Twitch. <laughs> but today it's just you guys, so I'm like <laughs> hyper, which you never usually get to see. their job is um well they're trying to find a new one and uh yeah they had a really good interview today so i'm hopeful for them i really really hope they get the job they want because they really want this job so i hope they get it yeah they my roommate was getting ghosted a lot too i felt really bad for them they were getting ghosted a lot. So keep your chin up, chat. You can do it. If you're looking for a job, you got this. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, I don't recommend becoming a VTuber unless you uh, <laughs> still live at home. Otherwise, 
you're gonna have to put in a lot of time and effort streaming after work and that's gonna suck. But if you can commit to that, then more power to you. It's supposed to be funny. I like scaring you though. Scary the chat. When you tell me don't do something, it makes me want to do it. Is that like evil or is it like troublemaker or is that rebellious? Which one? Don't play. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. What if I play video games over here? Are you guys gonna get mad? some more streams a week and the gaming stream are you gonna go crazy what face this one Whoa. my sparkles are like coming out of my Actually, they do come out a lot. They're so wiggly. I didn't notice until... <laughs> until I made them small. Oh my god, my face is gonna get sore if I do that. Face workout. That sign. That was weird. You're already brainwashed. Wow. Yes, I do want to play more until dawn. They're an eco I do, I do. I'm kind of scared because I'm getting to the point in the game where, like, I don't know what happens, like, I've seen, I saw some gameplay from the beginning of the game, so yeah, but I'm getting to the point where I haven't seen any, so <laughs> I don't even know, like, a tidbit of what's gonna happen, so I'm kind of scared. Sleep well. Everybody give Daddy Juice a hug. Give him a squeeze. So Juice shoots out of his straw. 
is a juice box. Do you hate that? Let me grab the Capri Sun too tightly and let squirt juice out. That was annoying. Get to holding a Capri Sun. And the poor Capri Sun. All of that wasted juice. Did you guys know there's something called a Capri Sun tree? And that's where you get the juice boxes from. I mean, the juice pouches. The straw is actually the branch. That hang on to the tree and then you snap it off. Yes. <gasps> I don't have a pop up for that. Oh my gosh. Alton, thank you so much for the five membership. You know, gifting memberships is a new thing on YouTube, and I forgot to add an alert for it on on YouTube specifically because it's new. Oh man, I got I got it like a month ago. I will have to fix that. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, well, it will show the members popping up now, but does not show <laughs> the five gifted. I will have to fix that. Thank you for the reminder. Also, something I hate, my alerts are messed up on YouTube. The message is like, not in the right spot. something else I want to do, but it might crash my stream. There was a really cool fact I wanted to try. Okay, I'm gonna wait till the end of stream to try it, cause it might, might crash my stream. <laughs> but I want to try it out and see if you guys like it. here okay <laughs> well men already handles other stuff so i feel bad bothering him about this um and i don't want to bother halo because he's not used to being a notepad <laughs> um Paul, can you remind me to uh, kiss him 
museum <laughs> right now on Discord and remind me to add gifting memberships alert uh, alert my voice is cutting out Schedule for when I upload? No. For uploading? No. But you can follow my Twitter if you want, because I post my streaming schedules on Twitter. Yari! Oh! You must be Scandinavian if J's are wise. I see. Okay, well, his- <laughs> mm, Should I tell you? Uh, it, it, there's probably a million of them out there. It's probably not a big deal. Well, <laughs> okay, so my family has a lot, like a shit ton of Scandinavian heritage. We have like relatives that live in Norway that like half of my family goes there in the summer and then they come here as well. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of like heritage and family and stuff. Um, but you mean after a hockey player? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. one of my cats after a hockey player and I found out it was a common name for like anime characters <laughs> um, wait what did I say I don't even know with a J, like his first name, and his last name starts with a J, so I won't say his name, but <laughs> because, you know, the Scandinavian-ness, we pronounce it with a Y, <laughs> it sounds funny. <laughs> uh, okay, let me see if I can think of a name. Okay, like, Jack Jackson? Yak Jackson. <laughs> yeah, Yosef Yostar. There we go, there's one. <laughs> it's funny. It's, it's pretty funny. Yosef Yostar. Yeah, 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 that's what we call. <laughs> Your real name is Yak Jackson? Jack Jackson, but because, you know, Norgay, <laughs> that's another thing they call it, instead of Norway, my, like, aunts and uncles call it Norgay, and I'm like, why? <laughs> but I, I don't know, I guess it's a thing. Norgay. Norgay. should do. You should go on VR chat and try to find someone who's Scandinavian and ask them to say like are you are you having fun chatting? And, and get them to say the word chatting or chat. Get them get them to say it. It's gonna make you laugh, I promise. <laughs> Mm 
and Norgay is just Norway and Norwegian. Yeah, I know. You're right, you're right. But like, all my aunts and uncles say Norgay. They like, to, they think it's funny because they're American. So, they're used to it because our relatives say it. <laughs> and then, I don't know. It's like funny because haha, American, but then also Norwegian. I don't know. Just like, uh, one of my cousins from Norway thought the word crayfish was really funny. And I'm just like, you've never heard of a crayfish? Sometimes they call them crawfish or crawdads. <laughs> and he <laughs> thought it meant like a crazy fish. And I was like, no. And he thought it was the funniest thing. I'm just like, He's like, oh, it's just a Norwegian thing. I'm like, no, it's not. I understand why you would think crayfish is funny. Crayfish, like, like cray, you cray, crazy, like that. Do you get it? I don't know. It was stupid. Also, all of my Norwegian family is so attractive. I don't I don't know why. They're just so attractive. This is funny. Oh, our Scandinavian family is so attractive. And then they come to America and they're like, oh, our American family is so attractive. It's just weird. Just complimenting each other. Nini, how are you? Well, we think that about them and we say that about them and then they think that about us and say that about us. <laughs> yeah, that's a joke I was making, Slicey. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> but, uh, no, 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 they, they're just good-looking people. And, uh... Everybody thought so when they came over here to America. And then when uh, my cousins and other family have gone to Norway, they've said the same thing. Even though I feel like... We don't look that much different. Like, we do, but we don't. Because, you know, we have the same, like, bloodline. We all look Scandinavian. <laughs> Is what I'm trying which countries you wish. Is Scandinavia too large to be considered a peninsula? It is a peninsula though, isn't it? But do you consider yourself attractive? A lot of people bring themselves down because of it. Down because of what? They don't think they look good? Of course I'm attractive. I'm an anime girl. It's my job. No, I haven't been to Norway. No, sadly, I have not. My immediate family never traveled anywhere. Um, mainly because my dad didn't like traveling. But, um, literally, all the rest of my family, all my cousins, aunts and uncles, literally everyone traveled. Um, and they've all been to Norway, but I have not. And neither have my brothers or my mom. go though. There's a lot of places I want to go to. I just haven't really had or created the opportunity for myself yet, but <laughs> The economy would die. Why? Too many attractive people? Or not enough?
Well, there definitely are jobs where it is your job to be looking good. That is a thing. But I'm not saying everybody has that job. I think I would want to go sightseeing. After seeing my family and hanging out with them, I'd probably want to go see, like, the outdoors. Because it's really, 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 really gorgeous in Scandinavia. And I don't know how easy this is, but I'd probably want to go to Finland and Sweden as well. I don't think it'd be too hard, because it's way smaller. Like, the borders are smaller than in the United States. <laughs> um, but I also probably want to try the food. Food, and sightseeing, and nature. eventually see. Yeah, I don't think I would meet my chat unless I went to an event, like a VTuber event or something, like TwitchCon or some kind of VTuber thing. Usually I don't. I like scary stuff. I just don't like gore. And a lot of spooky games have gore involved. My mods are probably like, yeah, nah. But then my chat is probably like, You wouldn't want to come up to me and say hi. A chatting stream? Oh, without ASMR. Maybe we could next time. Hmm. Okay, I'll 
Cocktail poll. Do you guys want a chatting slash gaming stream tomorrow? Or do you want a... Chatting slash gaming tomorrow or ASMR? You guys both. You can pick. Go ahead. The poll will appear at the top of the chat. Sometimes it takes uh, a little bit. get like what the heck Iku that's so boring but I really want to play Minecraft really badly I've really been wanting to stream Minecraft um, and when I say games and chatting I'm not talking about ASMR I'm talking about like just normal normal talking and hanging out um, I do have two different games that I will stream as like ASMR games but that won't be tomorrow that'll be after the subathon but yeah I wanna play Minecraft really badly <laughs> and I wanna learn how to play it really well I wanna get really good and I wanna learn how to use redstone so I really wanna do that I think it'd be really fun. I get scared easily in Minecraft though, I don't know why. <laughs> like, I just, I hate creepers so much, they actually make me jump. <laughs> and I wanna do a fishing, fishing marathon. Fishing a lot. I would start uh, a new world and play. Start a new world and play. I actually just learned how to uh, like kill the Ender Dragon and like where to get Elytra from and stuff. Like I didn't know anything about Minecraft, and I recently started learning. <laughs> You're home, welcome home, Mars. The diamond. The diamond. Welcome, welcome. Why is Mars retracted? <gasps> oh, you modded yourself. Why? It's okay. The diamond is fine. Everybody knows what the diamond means. done a tier list stream actually. I want to, but I've never done one. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. Yeah, I wanna get good and I wanna learn how to play. Wow. Gaming and ASMR are really they're very close. Me too, or a tier list ASMR stream. I can't. I feel like that would not be nice. Because <laughs> there's a lot of people I don't know. So, like, I'm not gonna put them high if I don't know them, you know? I feel like that wouldn't be fair. I 
agree. I think Minecraft does parallel with ASMR. I agree. Jump King ASMR. It's kind of awkward, but it's not that bad. No. No. Go, go. No, go. Go. Go, go. Go, go. Jump King, and I can't remember what else I did. I know I did another game too. Was it? <sighs> Jump King and. Yeah, Vampire Survivors. I did try that one too. Uh, I thought I also did, uh. ASMR or not, but I did. <sighs> What's the one where you kill all the demons with a chainsaw? Doom. I played Doom. No, not Doom, not Doom. Wait. You kill. No, not Doom. Other one. You kill demons. Not with a chainsaw, I don't think. But you kill a lot of demons. What was it? I think it was in outer space. Not Quake, not Doom. Dead Space, that's the one. Yeah. I played Dead Space too, and I can't remember if it was ASMR or not. Oh my god. One time on Twitch when I raided somebody else, they were playing Dead Space. And uh, the streamer asked me, have you ever played Dead Space before? And I was like literally getting up and walking away from my computer because I was tired after streaming and I was like, oh, I want to answer. But then before I could, someone in the chat was like, yeah, they played Dead Space too. And they were like, uh, they did it during ASMR. <laughs> the streamer, the other streamer was like, they played Dead Space during ASMR? How did they play? How didn't they scream? And the streamer was like, were they good at it? And the chat was like, yeah, they were they were pretty good at the game. And the streamer was like, oh, okay, that's probably why that makes more sense. And I was like, on what? What, what, what planet was I good at that game? <laughs> I couldn't open a door for 30 minutes. <laughs> I wasted all my ammo immediately. In the first few minutes, I wasted all my ammo. Chat wouldn't help me with anything, so I was like, alright, screw it, no help. I'm not helping myself either. And I didn't read any of the instructions. I clicked through everything. <laughs> I was playing on a controller 
which I'm not used to. So I didn't know like all the buttons to press to do things. <laughs> um, so in the first like a few minutes, I wasted all my ammo. I, I used all of it because I didn't know that I didn't get more. Like it was hard to get more. I didn't know that. Um, so I had to kill everything with melee. And, uh... Yeah... I did. I played that game for like two hours and killed almost everything with melee. Uh... Yeah... And eventually I got more bullets, but uh... <laughs> I got- the hardest part was a door I got stuck at. I didn't know how to open it, and I was pressing every freaking button, and chat started helping me because it was getting ridiculous. And then I got to a point where, like, chat couldn't figure out how to open the door. <laughs> they couldn't figure it out either, so I was stuck at this freaking door for, like, 30 minutes, <laughs> and I couldn't open it. And, yes! And, that's right, it was stasis, that's right. And, um, eventually we realized what was going on and then we got the door open. <laughs> it was so bad. It was really funny though. Somehow I managed to, to live the whole time I played. I played for like two hours and I never died. Until the very, very end where I just gave up and I let a monster kill me. And then I stopped playing. But... I guess I did pretty good for my first time playing. I don't know, I didn't really have any bullets the whole time though. But I wouldn't say that's good. <laughs> I think it's kind of bad that I wasted all my ammo and had to smash things in the face to kill them. Yeah, that was a while ago. I like... I'm being a memer when I play games. I just saw... Uh, feel bad for my chat having to be patient with me. <laughs> like when I played Elden Ring. That was like my first time playing a Souls game. Oh wow. Wow. The learning curve was difficult in that game. It was very fun though. The poor couldn't fight back, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about Portal. Oh, was it Halo? It's kind of discouraging as an ASMR artist. Um, ASMR is such like a niche category that like whenever you don't stream it, you stream something else. And, like so many less people come to your stream, <laughs> and it's really sad. It's really sad. Um, yeah, but whatever. It is what it is, I guess. It's also very weird. Very weird. Cause like, you could play any game you want. You could do a collab, you could do just chatting, you could do like, hot tub stream, you could do like, reading to chat, you could do meme reaction, you could do art, like, you could do so many things. And the viewer count? typically barely changes uh depending on what you're doing it, it usually doesn't change that much but when you go from asmr to literally anything else oh my god <laughs> it's crazy how many people are like nah it's like Over half the amount of people just like meh, don't show up. It's crazy to me. <sighs> At first 
noticed something that really bothered me. And it made me feel like I wasn't a good streamer or something. But then I just, uh, I don't know. I just thought about it and I was like, you know, people are very, very, very into their ASMR. And that's it. They're just there for that. That is it. Nothing personal. Personal. That, that is it. They're just into that and that's it. <laughs> so... I still think it's really weird, but... Yeah. Yeah, it is a very different demographic, I think, yeah. But a lot of the people that watch and listen to ASMR also watch and listen to like games and stuff too. I mean Twitch is a gaming website. Too much not ASMR be too for saturation. There's like way more VTubers now that do ASMR. I think a lot of people do like chatting streams. I want to do more of them. I do, I do, I do. You get tired after gaming and you seek some ASMR to relax? Oh, that makes sense. Hot tub website. I wish. I really want a swimsuit outfit. And uh, I really just want to remove some of my outfit and just turn it into a swimsuit. But I don't know if my rigor can do that. I don't know how difficult that would be. <laughs> Cause. I definitely could have a swimsuit outfit because uh, I have a body underneath my clothes. Uh, like I have a torso that is there. <laughs> so yeah, but I need to figure out how to remove the, the proper clothing layers. And make it look like a swimsuit. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> it's too much work. It's too much work. And I don't know if my, um, my artist mom would be okay with it. So, I don't, I don't really want to, like, mess with that. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna commission a new swimsuit from somebody. Very, very. Yes, I do have a body. <laughs> Maybe I could take a picture of it sometime. <laughs> I'll just draw a really, like, crappy version of a swimsuit over myself, and then I can show you guys. But... Oh, <laughs> you know what I can do? I could attach it onto myself. I could attach it so that it just looks like my midsection, which it would be. That would be so funny. Oh my gosh. But uh, I don't know how to. Now I, I'm gonna test some stuff out after stream and see what I can do. Twitch stream. Yes. But anyway, I do want to uh, commission swimsuit.
The BTS can't be that hard. Oh, it's a VTuber. <laughs> I'll have to see. I'll have to see what I can figure out. I'll have to see. Yeah, I was messing around with the files of my model and I found out that <laughs> there's a version without any clothes. <laughs> Um, because, uh, I think my, my artist mom made it that way because she knew I wanted, like, a swimsuit in the future and all that. Um, so she drew my base with the intention of showing, like, midsection. Um, so yeah. <laughs> but then we weren't able to do anything further, so... No, well, okay, the midsection is all, like, fully detailed, but the private areas are not, because <laughs> there's no point. But yeah, so I could actually have a swimsuit, but I would need the swimsuit drawn over. said she doesn't want that like she she doesn't want me to let someone else draw clothes on me so uh i thought about okay well what if i just have my rigor remove some of the clothes <laughs> then we'll just look like a swimsuit but i don't think my rigor has time for that so i'm just gonna forget about it to join a uh, corporation such as Hololife or Niji Sanji when you join. I don't know why I'm asking, just curious. Got the chance, it's like if I applied. <laughs> Cause I don't think they would ever approach me. I don't think they approach people unless people have shown an interest or something. Wait, what was, the question? <laughs> what was the question again? If you got the chance, um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. That's not something I fully thought about. I don't. I don't know. I like being an Indian. I like my community, and I like streaming. Uh, the way that I stream. There are a lot of benefits to being part of a corporation, but. It depends on which corporation, they're very different. Like, Hololive is very different from Niji Sanji. Um... <laughs> but yeah, that, that would... That would re require me actually trying out and then actually getting it, so... <laughs> I don't know. Mm. As much fun as that would be. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they're actually looking for people. I have my full thoughts, but I don't know if I will talk about them. I think it would be fun. streamer and what they're trying to do with their career, you know? Some people really enjoy indie, and they do it really well, and, uh, they know what they're doing to a degree. <laughs> Other people, they like that help of having management and focusing more 
on content, um, like professional management, I should say. Um, because when you're in the you know, you gotta figure it all out on your own. You don't have, like, a professional working with you, per se. You gotta have to, like, figure everything out. Which is fine, but some people want, like, the professionalism, the manager, whatever. Um, so yeah. I don't know. I, <laughs> it's a weird question for me to answer. I know a lot of people on Twitter have come out and said, like, I'm not gonna be trying out for this or that, I'm gonna, like, be staying me, and, like, I respect it, I respect it. Yeah, I don't know. I definitely want to, uh, grow, like, there's, there's never anyone in this industry who will tell you, oh, I'm happy where I am, <laughs> like, they say that, but they're either lying to you or they're lying to themselves, <laughs> like, everybody wants to keep growing. So yeah, I definitely want to go further in my career and grow, but I don't know if that leads to staying in indie or if something else pops up. I don't know. The future always changes, so who knows? But whatever I do and wherever I am, my community will know. They will know. That does not sound healthy. What does? That's not true. I do have some help from some really poggers people. But I'm used to doing everything by myself. But in the past like few months, uh, I've really let like a couple other people help me and it's been nice. Never being satisfied. I think I don't think that's it. I think a lot of people are like they're proud of how far they've come and what they've accomplished, but like, you don't want to create a ceiling for yourself, right? In an environment where you can go as high as you possibly can, why would you create that ceiling for yourself? creative environment, there's always that sense of, like, needing to, like, do more, keep growing, branch out, try new things, like, you don't want to, like, become stagnant. <laughs> That's definitely advice I would give to somebody. stop worrying about reaching any ceilings. Um, it, okay, well the thing is, it comes with the territory of being a streamer. It's just how it is. It just, it just comes with it. <laughs> uh, but I think people's definition of worrying about it differs. Like there's some people that think about not stop. There's other people who are like, more chill, and like they take the wins when they get them, but then they're also like, oh, I could do this differently, or try that, you know? Like, it depends on the person. I don't think it's bad to want to grow more and improve. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. 
I don't think it's bad to just grow comfortable and sit in the same, like, thing that you're doing. I don't think that's bad either, but eventually you will limit yourself and you might suffer from it. Or you might not. It's a gamble. <laughs> Everything is a gamble. to have a good time. Okay, let's see how far. 57% say smart and 43% said gaming and chatting. Oh, well, that's a lot closer than I thought. I thought they would be more spread out, but that's a lot closer than I thought. Oh my god. Everybody in the stream voted. Wow. That's 50 50, yeah. Wow, you guys are really like active over here. Dang, my YouTube fan is really, really responsive. Wow. voted on that than people who vote on my Twitch streams when I have over like 3k people in the stream. What the heck? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Wow. Such a good community. Yes, I think it is the right decision to stream over here more often for sure. Yeah, the pool was up for quite a while, that is true. That is true. Yeah, smaller groups can be better, that is true. More close knit. No, I think it depends on the streamer and how much they interact with their community and Yeah, how just like how they do things. I'm more of like a reserved streamer when it comes to like getting really really close with my community. I love my community so much. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. <laughs> Sorry, I was cracking my fingers, yeah. Um, but I'm also reserved because I've had a lot of bad experiences with people in my community. And my, I feel like my community is much different now than what it used to be. Um, so I'm only recently feeling like I can try to be more open and get more involved again. But I have a lot of weird, uncomfortable, strange things happen that I'm just like, I was not okay with. Um, so now I'm trying to... Be closer and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's why you're trying to keep a good distance, because I don't want to, like, have people cross that viewer streamer line and make things really weird again but nah, it, it's just what happens it comes with the territory but it also makes me sad because I feel like I'm not as close with my community as some other streamers are like other streamers that are like smaller than me my size or bigger than me like it doesn't matter um 
That is true, hobos. Throw them back. <laughs> it's not even trolls. It's not even trolls. It was people that, like, I liked and trusted and got along with, and they just got too comfortable and too close, and just things were just getting weird, and I just didn't like it. So, yeah. <laughs> It can be hard to keep a balance. Yeah, I feel way better about now. All the stuff that happened in the past was a long time ago. Um, but yeah, I feel way better now. And I really, really like being close with my community in terms of like... Being able to talk to you guys about anything and... I don't know. Chat knowing me well and chat being really cute and fun and <laughs> I like seeing streams where chat can tease their streamer really really well like uh mm. what are some good examples out of people I watch the most the best examples I can give are like Numi and Yuzu I think their chat from what I've seen is like really amazing with like interacting with them so <laughs> fast from distance <laughs> yo you need like a loofy arm to do that <laughs> thank you Oz, for the super again thank you i like when my chat sticks up for me too i'm not talking about light nighting but like whenever some like real weird champs come in the chat. I always appreciate when my community starts being like, yo, chat, what the hell? What's wrong with you? <laughs> and like, calling them out instead of my mods doing all the work. I think it's really funny when my chat does it too, and they're like, <laughs> what the heck? I, don't, I just think it's funny. A fake hand on the broom. That sounds creepy. I really hope this whole parasocial reality. <laughs> I read that as I really love this. <laughs> oh my god, my dyslexia really messed up that sentence. Oh man. I don't know how I mixed up hope and love. I think because of the L's and really. Um, I really hope this whole parasocial relationship stuff we've been seeing really goes down. Um, I think there's always going to be parasocial issues, um, with streaming. It's never going to go away. It's always going to be there. You're always going to have people who do it a lot, and then people who, like, aren't about that life. I know there's a lot of parasocial stuff that does go on. Or streamers who, like, do things with their viewers. Like, I don't know. I don't, I'm sure it happens. I could name some pretty big names, but I will not. I will not. But I don't do that kind of stuff. And I always thought, like, do people expect that of streamers? Like... Is part of my community less, like... About me and my streams because I don't do that kind of stuff? I don't know. I've... I've... At one point, I wondered that. <laughs> but, um... Because I was growing, like... Super fast in viewership. But then when it came to like, um, I don't know, like, monetization or like, viewers being there, when I don't stream ASMR, it would be like, so low. And I was like, hmm, is it because I don't do parasocial stuff like a lot of other people do? I don't really know. But, um... I 
still don't know, but I don't like parasocial things. I think that's... It's one thing to joke about stuff, but if people can't tell what's a joke and what's not a joke, like... <laughs> I don't know. If people think, like, she is my waifu, she is my girlfriend, she is my mommy, she, or, or even, like, he is my boyfriend, like... It's really weird to me. It's so weird. I feel like I would be uncomfortable with my life <laughs> at that point. I don't know how people even live like that. I don't know. Ugh. And it gets kind of scary. Like, people in your community can get really crazy when things are like that, so... But then, like, when you- when it's not- yeah, like you said, Mike, like, roleplay. That is totally different. When you say roleplay, you know, it's like the expectation. It's not real. It's just fakely done for entertainment purposes. Apocalypse. to get attention from the streamer that you really like. Like, I understand that, but it should never be taken to, like, an unhealthy or, like, an unsettling or uncomfortable level for anybody. Yeah, that is true. Go try to treat everybody equally. That's what I try to do. I try to treat everyone equal and not do like special treatment because, you know, I, I think that's fair. Yo, look! Thank you for the super! Thank you, thank you! Not ten, it was like 15 US dollars. 10,000. Imagine. I would end my stream. Imagine. Yo, someone gave me, someone gave me 10,000? <laughs> That's some shilling money right there. You, you got something you want me to promote for you? Hell yeah. <laughs> 10 grand? Damn. That's more than sponsors are paying. <laughs> Mr. Beast. Usually I try to focus more on the ASMR, but I don't know, today's a weird one. I've just been so chatty. <laughs> uh, I no. If someone donated 100 grand for me to quit streaming, sorry, buddy. You just wasted your money. Well, not really. It's going to a good cause, of course, but. Why would I quit my job for a hundred grand is nothing. Why would I quit my job for a hundred grand? What? Heck no. Of course not. I've worked too hard. I've worked too hard and put a lot of time. Two hundred? Nah. Nobody would do that anyway. Unless you're like a Valkyrie, I don't think so. <laughs> I think somebody 
donated $300,000 to her when she was doing a uh, charity stream for building houses. Wasn't it 300000 It was crazy. She started crying. It was... It was so crazy. It was probably like... You know, a, like a rich person. Like a... Like an entrepreneur or something like that. Um... <laughs> yeah. But they just sent over that much. Like, oh my god. But I remember them saying, like, building houses for people is, like, that kind of charity is, like, really important to them and really close to their heart, so... And they thought it was, like, a really great thing, and they donated, like, 300000 and they were like, you're gonna have to increase your goal. <laughs> and she started crying, and she was like, oh my god, that's so nice. So... job click on the draw but yeah I thought that was pretty amazing because you know it was for charity money is expensive <laughs> oh my gosh this is almost a three hour stream uh, I'm gonna have to change my title I didn't mean to do a three hour stream today <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry chat, I've been doing really boring triggers, I just keep going like this and talking. Wow, what is this stream? I'm sorry, our, our next stream tomorrow will be, will be better. We will focus more on the ASMR and the triggers. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how we got so chatty. Boring triggers, baby. Mm, you actually, you're supposed to say no, it wasn't boring, Nico, no. Okay, I'll stop rubbing the blanket. That That is definitely something I, I suffer with. <gasps> I had my other mic on the whole time I was doing. God, I had my other mic on the whole time. The one that picks up background sounds. And I didn't realize. Oh no, I could have cut out so much background noise. Uh, don't you hear like way less background noise now? Isn't it way quieter and better? Oh my god. I'm so mad at myself. I'm so stupid. Why? Why am I like this? <sighs> I'm so disappointed in myself. Oh well. <laughs> Sad. No? So boring. <laughs> You're falling asleep. Noob streamer. Wow. Yeah, that's why I like the blanket. It does cut off a lot of stuff. Joe, you're so mean. Oh yeah, I didn't get to ask you guys. How long do you think the subathon's gonna go? You guys ask me, but I don't know. I'm not in charge of that. How long do you think? It's not my choice, it's your choice, chat. Hello, Sparky. Welcome, welcome. 
the one ear. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> no way. Four weeks minimum? I don't think so. People aren't gonna want that. I don't think my community <laughs> is willing to shill out enough for that. Um, I'm pretty sure we're gonna do, uh, um, I I'm still working on specifics with my mods, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna do every sub 500 bits or $5 equals one minute of time. I think that's, that's pretty, pretty good, pretty around standard. I do have a vacation planned the first week in October. It's my first vacation that I have planned for myself in like a while. Since, since I stopped going to college basically. So yeah. That is true. If, if it goes too long, it could affect mental health. I don't know the answer to that question, though. Where am I going? I can't tell you. But my mom is, uh... I'm, I'm gonna be seeing my mom. So I'm very happy about it. Because I haven't seen my mom in a really long time. Cause I, I don't, I don't live at home, and I don't live very close to my mom either, so it'll be really nice to see her for a week. I could not take a huge break. I don't feel comfortable. I, I don't know. It depends on how long it goes, but I feel like I would take a week. That would be the most, and then like, all right back to business. Oh, thank you, John. I think it will. I think it will go well. Do you emulate games? I do uh, emulate gacha games sometimes, and I have emulated uh, Pokemon games just because I want to play on the PC. Don't feel comfortable, huh? But yeah, I very much live in the moment, so <laughs> if uh, I take off a week, I'm gonna start to get way too like bored and anxious. Um, I'm gonna be like, okay, I have to stream, I have to stream, I have to stream, I have to stream. <laughs> My community's gonna leave me if I don't. And I feel bad not streaming for that long and making them wait as well, so... Yeah. <laughs> you feel bored after two days off? Yeah, I, I can 
けた方がいいよ。Okay, well, I'm not like that about it. It's just if I miss a lot of days that I'm like, I have to stream, I have to stream, I have to stream. <laughs> and then I feel bad and I feel guilty, and yeah. I do like my life, but I, I want to keep growing and, you know, succeeding in more ways. I don't want to just cruise through life at the same level. I, I want to do more, grow more, do more for myself, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I have a lot of student loans I have to pay back to, so. You know, just, just life things. <laughs> like getting a house one day, having all my debt paid off from like college that I never even finished. And, uh, you know, getting a better vehicle. <laughs> you know, just stuff like that, chat. I'm not even talking about big crazy things. I'm just talking about normal life things. At least in the US, I guess. <laughs> I think wanting to get a house is pretty normal, but. <laughs> Go, lady. <laughs> yes, normie. I'll do my best. I will do my best to, uh, to, uh, I don't know, make you guys happy and enjoy the content and keep myself happy and healthy and reach out to new people and meet new people and viewers and yeah. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I'm sorry this stream was very, <laughs> very just talking and rambling the whole time. I'm probably gonna change the title. But, uh, next time, uh, I guess tomorrow, tomorrow we'll be doing more ASMR, I guess. And, uh, it'll be more focused on triggers and stuff. So, yeah, you guys can look forward to that. Nice job, you said. Nice job. Yeah, my mom co-signed on like all my loans, so that's another reason I want to get them paid off and figured out, because I don't want it to affect her. Um, even though she did it, you know, already knowing it would affect her, like she, that was her choice, uh, I still want to handle it as quickly as possible for both of our sakes. So, yeah. I 
do. I have a really, really nice, supportive, patient mom. I'm very fortunate. Um, so that's another reason why I just, I want to have the finances taken care of. So she doesn't have to <clears throat> deal with anything. And she's never even, like, said anything to me about it. But... I, I still, I don't know, I just want to be a good daughter and not weigh her down. Aster, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Aww, I found rocks on the floor. But they're not rocks on YouTube. support my mom. Whenever she needed help with something, I would always help her. Uh, I don't live close to her anymore, like I said, so I guess my brothers are doing that <laughs> instead. But I always send her really nice birthday, Christmas, Mother's Day presents and stuff, so yeah, it's the least I can do. And I like making my mom happy. Like, she's one of the people in my life where, like, making her happy makes me happy. <gasps> you need to call your mom more. Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> Chad, call your mom, okay? You gotta, you gotta be good and support the people you love. Hello, Husky. I need to call my mom more too. It gets kind of hard. Cause like, I forget and... And she's really busy too, so she also forgets. No, you can't call my mom. How dare you? She'd be like, who in the world? <laughs> who is this man? <laughs> Your mom yells at me. My mom is just so chill. If I don't call her enough, she just assumes that I'm busy, and she knows I, I just, it's not personal, I just am bad about it. <laughs> I feel bad. But yeah, chat, enjoy your parents while they're still around, and show them love. <laughs> oh my god, Maji Fallon. I love that I can see it. A profile pictures in YouTube chat. I love it so much. I wish Twitch had that. <laughs> Maji Melon. And just Maji Makun smiling. My mom would definitely come on stream. She would. She would do it. But. Ain't no way, chat. I'm not gonna let her. Nope. 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 I'd rather have my brothers come on stream, but that would be annoying. But they would be, like, chill, you know? Like, they would understand. God, and my one brother, he's, like, quite a bit younger than me. <laughs> so, um... Whenever he laughs, sometimes I still hear, like, the squeaker crack in his voice, and I'm just like, <laughs> You sound like such a fudging, f f a fudging young and Yeah. And then it makes me laugh. Yo, Wilmer! Thank you for the th <laughs> Thank you for the three months! Welcome back, welcome back. Surprise. Well, my brother's dumb. He laughs at everything when it's not even funny. And sometimes when he laughs, yeah, he, he just sounds very, like, immature. 
like, I don't know. I, I, it's hard to explain. And <laughs> I mean, he'll probably grow out of it, but he's even like he's younger than me, like by a few years. So like, I I can't say exactly how old he is, but yeah, when he laughs, he he still gets that squeaker. Uh, a voice crack when he laughs, and uh, <laughs> it makes me laugh. But yeah, he would be laughing a lot if he was with me on stream, and it would probably I wouldn't be cringing. I would be cringing too much. I'm not a bully. I'm not. He's my brother. I can make jokes if I want. He also has really stupid humor, like, the kind of stuff he genuinely, like, laughs at, like, pretty hard, I think is so dumb. But he thinks it's so funny. It's so cringe. <laughs> and then I, I feel like I'm laughing out of pity. <laughs> I don't know. I actually have never watched XQZ. I've heard of that streamer, but I've never watched them. So I genuinely don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. So. <laughs> Boomer humor? I don't think so. different names. Uh, well, I mean, the stupid humor is a thing, right? I think s some stupid humor stuff is funny too, but... Good night, Simon. Sleep well. Uh, <laughs> not the pity laugh. I think he, he likes to talk a lot. Big cow guy. I don't get it. <laughs> uh, well, mm. Oh, the meme media too. I actually understand all the memes in there most of the time. I, I understand most of them. But some of them do make me laugh, but sometimes I, I am a little confused. I laugh at stupid jokes? Yeah, sometimes I do, I guess. <laughs> I'm more laughing at the stupidity of the situation and not necessarily thinking the joke is actually comical. <laughs> and I also think it's funny seeing some people in chat trying, and then just failing so miserably. That does make me laugh, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we can stop talking about XQC now. <laughs> it's not an XQC stream. Usually, uh, in the rules, it, it, in my rules, it says not to mention other streamers unless I mention them first, but I kind of let it slide a little bit on YouTube, because, I don't know, I probably shouldn't, actually, but, 
Yeah. It's just best not to mention the streamers, because, you know, you don't know, you, like, uh, someone's opinion or a relationship with another streamer, so best not to do that. And when you do it, you're also technically um, advertising them, which is not good. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, but anyway... Oh, it's already been over three hours now. Wow. Wow. Well, I am pleasantly surprised how many of you are, uh, willing to hang out here and listen to me ramble all stream. This was interesting. <laughs> Usually on YouTube I try to focus on more ASMR, like I said. I don't always read chat like a crazy amount, but I guess it was a nice change of pace. I'm gonna have to change the title of this stream though, because I really derailed. Oh my gosh. But yeah, tomorrow... I guess we'll do more ASMR since ASMR won the vote. And it'll be more focused on the actual ASMR and probably less less chatty a little bit. But I stream on different platforms because I want to. I technically stream on three platforms. I stream uh, for my patrons on Discord as well. Should I title my stream up though? Two hours plus one bonus hour. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I think it's funny. It's kind of cringe though. You can listen to it all day. Oh, you're very sweet. Well, I'm glad it wasn't too bad for you guys. Stupid, but I think it's funny. You know what? All the people that were here during the stream, they will understand the joke. They will know and they will understand because they were here. Yes. Rumbling. You won't believe. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that. I actually had a thumbnail I was going to use that was really clickbaity like that, but I haven't yet. Yeah, saving that for a uh, The Twitch VOD. Twitch VOD's uh, YouTube channel that I'm making. Anyone who watches the stream later will understand too if they get to that point. Turn it all into clickbait. <laughs> well, as long as they end up enjoying the content once they click, you know, if they if they get clickbaited and then they're like, oh, but this is nice though, then it's kind of okay, right? <laughs> you just it, it's like telling a child like. This tastes really good. You're gonna like it. It's so good. It tastes like candy. Just to get them to eat like sweet potato. Because they look at it and they're like, ew, it's a vegetable. And then they taste it and they're like, okay, it's not candy, but it's still good. And the parents are happy because they ate a vegetable. So like, win-win. <laughs> it's like that. You have to eat your vegetables, Jack. You just don't know it. You don't know what you're gonna like. <laughs> oh, maybe that's bad. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> I'm lying to children. <laughs> this is why I don't want kids. I would do that. Yes, manipulation. Yes. A little manipulation can be nice. 
if it's done in like, you know, out of the kindness of your heart for the other person, and as long as you have their best interests in mind and you have good intentions, it's probably not that bad, right? It depends on the situation, I guess, but... <laughs> Sounds like a little you. <laughs> what do you mean, bruh? You don't agree with me? Okay, well, chat, as long as it's not bad, you know? Like, if you're lying to somebody about their birthday party, because you want to be surprised, and they show up, and then it's a surprise, and they're like, Whoa! That's good! That's manipulation, and that's lying! But it was for something good, and it turned out nice! Right? getting towards the end of the stream so if you want to hang out and watch the ad to support me for free that will be poggers poggers at least for the people watching in live <laughs> okay here we go i want to count down turn down your volume turn it down three two one Like that. Okay. Anyway. I don't think it's a big deal to do that when it's the end. Unless someone is asleep. <laughs> Remember the previous. Yeah, what what did you guys get earlier? What did you get before? That was fun. You get your premium? Nice, nice. What happens if I skip that? I don't know. I get less money. <laughs> I think it's fine. Do what you want. It's up to you. Wait, which one? There are no ads. Is that long? I feel like 30 seconds isn't too bad. You get them on your phone but not busy? Oh, if you have YouTube Premium, you won't get ads on your phone though. <laughs> you got a VTuber ad? Oh my god, my friend was telling me about that. Oh, they're getting VTuber ads now and they were like, why don't you do this? You you could do this. And I was just like Wouldn't that be like insanely expensive? Why what how? How would I what? <laughs> ads are so expensive. Yeah, it's really expensive. I don't know how VTubers do that. I guess they have money in real life, and they're just like, Hey, yo, let me use this. I've never seen one either. You've seen them? Oh, you have.
That's it. Oh, I've never seen a visual giraffe. A huge influence. How are they getting them to pay for them? What? <laughs> I don't understand. Isn't it like thousands of dollars? Maybe it's not that much. I don't know. Insta skip. You stink. Come watch my stream. <laughs> That's it. That's what it would be. them a little bit and get people to come into the stream and be like you said I stink what do I stink like what do I smell like now <laughs> it's a conversation starter You've never gotten an ASMR ad? I haven't either, Oski. I have never had one before. Blueberries. Blueberries. <gasps> it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. I hope you have a really wonderful, amazing birthday. I hope it's a lot of fun. They're interesting. I wish there was more of them. I wish you could mark your stream to have like quiet ads. <laughs> I can't believe I've never worked marketing. Sounded a little. <laughs> My nose is clear though. I don't know what's going on. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. So many birthdays around this time of the year. My birthday's coming up too. Sniffing the fast breathing. <laughs> Is that weird or do you guys like that trigger too? When's your birthday? Soon. Soon. It's actually really close to the subathon, so. <laughs> be okay. It should be okay. It should be fine. Just sniff. Oh, it's okay. Okay, well, it's not that close, I guess. Maybe I'll tell you guys. Maybe I won't. But thank you for a happy early birthday. Turning 40? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna be doing by the time I'm 40. Am I still gonna be an anime girl? Mm, I hope so. I wanna be an anime girl forever. Maybe I'll actually have a really good, like, mommy voice by the time I'm 40, maybe I'll, like, hit more puberty and, like, 
actually sound like mommy. Like, like Beto from Genshin Impact or something. Maybe. I guess we'll see. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna quit in the next month. What? No. Why? Why? What? Huh? No. I. I. I'm not. I'm not graduating anytime in the foreseeable future. In fact, I am having merch coming out in the foreseeable future. And my look is gonna change in the foreseeable future. You guys will see. Yes. And I'm gonna get new outfits. You'll see, Chad. You'll see. You want more rars? Glocko, thank you for the soup. I appreciate it. Thank you. Of course you can. New year, new me came early. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. And Taki. <laughs> came early. That's not what I meant. Right. 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 short haircut. I do. I think they're really cute. I want a short one. I want like a couple different long hairstyles and I want one of my hairs, like one of one of them to be short. I want, <laughs> I want like four different hairstyles. Right. Right. be layered. Oh yes, of course. Layers are very important. Look at my hair right now. I have like a lot of layers in my hair. A lot. You guys ever seen my model like Yeah, I have a lot of layers and like I have um like very ribbony hair. Like, if I kind of flick it to the side, you can see a little more. It's kind of hard to show. But yeah. I have a lot of layers. Yeah, I do have very long hair. And even up top, I have, uh... Uh... Well, I'm cutting off my head. <laughs> uh... Yeah. I have, uh... Like an ogre. I have a lot of layers. And a lot of different, like, lengths of hair. But I like it. I like all the details of my hair. I like how detailed it is and how, like, different. I like how some parts are kind of spiky. And then other parts are really, like, ribbony and flowy. Or not, not ribbony, like, what's the word? Oh no, yeah, I guess ribbony, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like the ribbons in my hair, I guess. Glocko, thank you so much for the soup. <laughs> you didn't have to say.
send another one to say thank you. Shrek me. Please no, I don't want to think about that. That is something I don't want to envision. Yeah, you can see who did it. Uh, my artist mom. I have her um, on my Twitter profile. Sadly, I don't know if she's doing uh, live duty models anymore though. I don't think she is. You like that it moves? Yeah, I like that it moves too. I, I like things to like move a lot and be responsive. <laughs> when I move my mouth to one side, it doesn't respond as well. <laughs> Isn't that a weird face? Yeah, the glowy tongue is gone right now. But why does it happen when I blink? Bug. My mouth doesn't close on this side. I don't know why. Okay, let's try this side. Blech. It's hard to make a noise. Mm, looks weird. The rock. It's kind of hard to do though. Something I want to get adjusted and changed. I want to be able to like frown with all my eyes squinting. <laughs> like, it's really hard for me to keep my eyes open normally and also frown. Oh, that feels weird. Pretend I'm drinking a soda. I'll just pretend. Thank you for the soda. Oz, I like seeing your name because every time I see your name, I see a picture of Go Gojo. And Gojo's pretty pog. <laughs> when does the next season of uh, Jujutsu Kaisen come out? Like, do we know what season it's coming out? Like, fall time? Winter? Yeah, Juice has uh, Gojo as well. I think we both really like Gojo. Next year? Oh! Oh, 2023! Okay, okay. 2023 winter gonna be bumping. This fall, late this year, early next year, gonna be real pog. You'll see, you'll see. I'm not ready to cry. Yeah, bump. 
like bussing, bumping, and bussing. Oh my god, somebody on Twitter. Ah, uh, I forgot who it was, but somebody on Twitter said like, Daijo bussing. <laughs> it's not a Daijo boo. Daijo bussing. Daijo boosing. <laughs> I thought that that was pretty funny. That's pretty clever. Chainsaw Man! When is Chainsaw Man coming out? Everybody's talking about it so much, but like... I haven't seen the anime at all. That's so bussy. Yeah, Bleach is this year, right? Oh, October! Okay, okay. your fave manga? I have not read it yet. I know a lot of people are really excited for Bleach. I really hope the creator of Bleach does more, um, Burn the Witch. I really like that anime. It was so good. I really liked it. Well, the, like, first three episodes. There's only, like, three. <laughs> but I really liked it. the time so I stopped <laughs> I stopped watching Bleach too even though I got like halfway through um I don't think I have a favorite I really like Jujutsu Kaisen though uh I have a lot of anime that I really like Jujutsu Kaisen's probably my most recent like favorite Stream it. Oh, yeah, halfway. Fire punch. Okay, chat. <laughs> I didn't think I would be streaming this long. This was supposed to be a two hour stream. It's almost been four hours. I need to go make dinner. I'm hungry. I need to get some water. So. We can talk about anime next time. Just remind me. Or actually, we can talk about it. Um, let's talk about <laughs> If you guys remind me, we can have a nice long anime conversation um, on the subathon on Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. But thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you so much for all the support today. I really appreciate it. And it was nice to see so many people show up and hang out today. Thank you for being here, Bug. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was quite a long one. And, uh, yeah. So I'll be back again tomorrow. And it looks like we'll be doing more ASMR. But it'll be more focused on triggers. So be prepared for, uh, trigger focus and... You know, just nice, comfy relaxation. So, <laughs> thank you for putting up with all of my, uh, my, my exorbitant amount of chatting today. I was very talkative. Oh, but yeah. Okay, make sure you guys take care. I hope you can all get rest. And thank you for putting up with the ads, even though it was kind of a joke. Uh, <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.
Bye-bye.